Okay, so over the last couple of days, I've had quite a lot of people message me, ask me to do a tutorial showing you how I built these DIY light vision goggles. So I'm just going to very quickly show you how to do it now. It's really quick and easy. It's not complicated at all. I think most people would be able to do it. Um, so to do this, all you need is two things. You need the Cadex Infra FPV camera. That's very important. And then you need an analog pair of FPV goggles. Now, you can use any goggles you want. The only thing that's important is it's an analog pair of FPV goggles that has a module bay. Now, most analog goggles do have a module bay, but there are a few that don't. So just be mindful of that. Now, if you want to follow exactly what I've done, the goggles I've got is a pair of Skyzone Cobra X V2 goggles. Now, I bought these secondhand off Facebook for about £100. There's loads of these knocking around secondhand these days. Um, however, if you want to, you can still buy these goggles brand new, and I think they cost about 220 now, in terms of putting this together, it was really quick and really easy. So, I mean, the camera, that's literally just stuck to the front of goggles with some double-sided tape. Um, now, when you buy the camera, it also comes with this little AI box here. It's just got a processor in for doing some clever stuff. But it just so happens on the Sky Zones, this is the module bay. And the little AI box just happens to perfectly click into place and fit perfect. Didn't even have to use any tape or anything. Just by pure chance, that fits perfect. So in terms of how the camera is installed, it's as simple as that. Now, the camera, when you buy it, it comes with a little wiring loom. It's got three wires, a red, black, a red wire, a black wire, and a yellow wire. The red and black wires, that's used for providing the camera power, which we'll get to in a moment. The yellow wire, that's the video signal wire. Now, if I just remove this, and pull it apart. So inside the module bay, screwdriver inside the module bay you have this little uh pin header row here it's got nine little sockets in when you've got your analog receiver that would plug into those sockets however obviously i've removed the receiver and um on this uh row here this may be different for different goggles but for the sky zones the fourth pin from the left hand side that is the video signal input pin so what i did was I took the yellow wire coming from the Cadex Infra, I just pulled a little bit of the silicone off the end there to expose the bare wire, and then I just inserted it into that fourth socket, just like that. And then I just used a little bit of mounting putty just to secure it in place. Simple as that. Now, the power wires, this was a little bit more complicated. So the Infra camera, requires a minimum of nine volts to work. It's a little bit annoying because these last two pins here on the uh, the module bay pin header thing, they're right putting five volts in ground. If this camera happened to work from five volts, I could have literally just fed those black and red wires into there. But alas, that doesn't work. This camera needs nine volts. So what I ended up doing was I fed the uh, the red and black wires down inside the goggles. The reason why I've done that is because to power these goggles, you need to use a LiPo battery. You, know, you need to use, a, it's, I think it's a minimum of a 3S battery, although I happen to be using a 4S battery. The battery is connected to this cable here, which then plugs into the bottom of the goggles in this socket here, labeled DC in. Works just like that. This being a 4S battery, uh, that's what, a 14.8 volt battery, um, which obviously is a lot higher than 9 volts, which is what this needs. So what I did is I dismantled the goggles. Now, to do that, it's very easy. I'll put some pictures up here to show you. Um, but basically, the first thing you need to do is remove the head strap. Um, after doing that, you then need to remove this uh, leather piece here. It literally just pulls off. It's held in place with Velcro. And then you'll see that there are six screws, uh, two at the top here, two on the sides, two at the bottom. Remove those six screws, and then this entire compartment here with the lens in, you can then pull that off. Once you've done that, you then need to remove this panel at the front of the goggles. And the way you do that is you literally just press with your thumbs really hard there, and it will disconnect on the top. You then turn the goggles over, press really hard at the bottom there, and then that panel will pop off. Once you've then done that, if you look uh, carefully down on the inside of the goggles here, you'll see that there's a little tab. There's one on this side, there's another one on this side. All you need to do is just get a flathead screwdriver, kind of push it underneath the tab and then flick it up and then that will disconnect it. 
Do that on both sides and then you can separate the goggles into two pieces and then you can expose the circuit boards. Now, this is where we are then gonna sort of connect the power wires from the Calyx Infra. So what you see here is the DC input, this little jack here, that's where the battery is being connected. On the other side of the circuit board, just behind that jack, there's then these two little pads. All it did was soldered the red wire to this pad here and soldered the black wire to this pad here. What that's doing is it's then going to take the voltage directly from the battery. It's going to then feed it directly to the camera. Um, and because this is a 4S battery, that's going to feed at a minimum of sort of 14.8 volts or higher, depending on how charged the battery is. Uh, you could also use a 3S battery. Uh, minimum voltage on a 3S battery is sort of around 10.4 volts. So again, that's more than enough because the infra needs 9 volts. Um, now, once you've done that, the important thing is that the wires, you have to then very carefully tuck them away and kind of route them through this sort of circuit board bit and through the housing of the goggles. You've got to do that very carefully so that when you put the goggles back together, that those wires don't get pinched and don't get damaged. But once you've you know, route, routed those wires through, all you then need to do is then just reassemble the goggles. And that is all there is to it. It's a simple as that. Um, like I said, it's very easy to do. I think most people would be able to do that. Like the only thing you need to be able to do is solder two wires, um, which, you know, it's not hard to do at all. Even if you're sort of new to soldering, I think most people will be able to do that because it's not super fiddly soldering. And um, yeah, that's all there is to it. So I hope that those of you that are interested, I hope you find this video sort of helpful. I hope it allows you to build your own pair of goggles and I hope you have fun with them. So um, yeah, if you find this video helpful, please do give it a like and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye.